Welcome back to WGL North America. We saw a great series between River of Blood and Simple Tankers. River of Blood was able to take it 3-0. to zero. And now it's time for Nerve versus Simp. Both these teams are 4-0. and zero. And to help me bring you all the action tonight, I still got with me Andre Gritor Pengshua and Randall Rukil Holcomb. I want to talk about these two teams before we get the face-off ready, gentlemen. First off, Simp 3-1 against Mop 4. 3-1 against Strike. 3-0 and zero against Wreak Havoc, and 3-1 and one versus Simplistic. This is the number two seed to come into the tournament, and some say the only team that could take down Fulcrum Gaming because they've had the most experience going up against Fulcrum. But Nerve has been an incredible team. Simp or Nerve, where are we going? I'm saying Nerve still, 55-45. Nerve has shown really impressive stuff to me. I just like their execution. Um, Although Simp has too, uh, like I can't, I can't talk badly about either of these teams because obviously, to be, uh, to be undefeated, that's a really hard thing to do against these fantastic teams in the WGLNA. That is a feat in and of itself. But that's why I'm saying it's 55-45. I can see 55-45 going to Simp, going to Nerve. I'm choosing Nerve today. All right, real quickly, Nerve 3-0 against Simplistic, 3-0 against EC. 3-0 and against Cunninghams, and 3-1 and against Mop 4. They have lost one battle, yes. and that was against Mop 4. But who better to see what they have to say than these two commanders of both these teams? Let's go ahead and welcome the leaders of Simp and Nerve. Gentlemen, good evening. How are you doing? How you guys? Hello, hello. <laughs> All right, Mac G, I'm going to talk to you first since you are the most sacrificial T1 Cunningham when it comes to World of Tanks, and also... <laughs> one of the <laughs> most uh, effective. Is the pressure on for you? Is the pressure on higher than other teams, do you think, since you performed very well in past tournaments that you need to perform very well in this tournament? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say, you know, the pressure's on from uh, being in the league. I think, you know, the people who apply the most pressure to our team are its own members. Uh, we're always looking to get better, to improve. Um, and at the end of the day, all we can ask is that we each, you know, do our best to improve uh, every day. Now, Nerve is a team that we pretty much here at the studio did not see coming. This is a team that, is, that has surprised a lot of us. Are these guys from Nerve, are you familiar with them? Are you familiar with the team? Have you scrimmaged with them before? Or are they new to you as well? Uh, I mean, I know of the players. Uh, they've got, you know, some heavy hitters on their team. Uh, and I'm excited to see uh, what they bring, you know, uh, team-wise, strat-wise. Uh, but, I mean, 4-0, oh, that's, a, that's a great surprise, and I'm, I'm happy to be facing them. And do you have any words for your opponent, independent? No, and do you have any smack talk for your opponent? <laughs> your opponent? I don't want to hear words. I want to hear smack talk. Uh, not any of that I can think of right now. I just hope we do a good enough job that they'll scrim with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. So so manner. So nice, Mac Likewise. G. Likewise. The throwbacks. Yeah. All right. All right, Nerf. You have surprised pretty much everyone that's been watching the broadcast since week number one. Do you feel confident moving into this game against Simp? Are you going to make Greetorp a profit and have you guys win this series? Or is this going to be your toughest series yet? Uh, you know... Talking about Gritarp, I'm a little bit disappointed in him. Uh, for some reason, he wasn't uh, an indie fan. He was a Trouble 2 fan all the way from the beginning, knowing he's uh, a oh, player. Oh, 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 look at the time. <laughs> time to hit the set. Very, oh. very disappointed, Gritarp, there. Um, excuse me, you did not buy me with a hat, so I can't really. How could you sell for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take an independent nerf hat. I'll take one. All right, uh, second question for you, independent. Do you feel that you guys can make it to Vegas based on your team composition today, or do you have to make more changes in the future to make it all the way? That's exactly how it's going to be. Absolutely no changes. Uh, well, uh, there will be one player. He's from Argentina, uh, Lechero. Uh, he he has uh, some travel plans for that time. He will not be able to make it. Uh, but the the other nine guys, uh, I'm not I'm not making any changes. Okay. Rukil, you had a question for him? No, no. I oh, was you're just, just really happy? No, I was adjusting my sound because <laughs> I was sitting here like, he's a little quiet in my ear. <laughs> Can't hear what Lechero is saying because right. I want to get ready for that trash talk. i got to turn it up so I don't miss any. Okay, do you have any trash talk independent Only for, trash talk. for Mac G? For, uh, no, Mac. Uh, I, I'm a bit, I was a little bit disappointed. I couldn't get on your team uh, earlier. That was, <laughs> that was it. 
you know, I was, uh, yes, guys, that's the that's the uh, backstory. I, I did actually try to get into Sim Main before this tournament began. Gosh. Well, how crazy of a story if it will be that you destroy Sim Main tonight. We'll I know, that would be great. We'll have to see. Uh, Simp has the higher seed. Yep. Let's get ready for the coin toss because both these players and teams are ready to go. So, Simp, what is your call, heads or tails? Uh, we'll go with heads. We're going to go with heads. Let's go ahead and flip the coin. <laughs> it's tails. tails. Nerve, you will have map choice or you can defer. Uh, let's do Ansk. We're going to do Ansk and Simp, MACG, what will be your spawn position? Uh, I guess we'll... Uh, it's a tough one. I guess we'll take the south. Okay, the map will be Ansk right. and Simp will spawn to the south. Gentlemen, good luck to you. Have fun, enjoy. All right, we definitely thank you guys. will. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We really will. Um, this you know, is the match I've been looking forward to all night. A lot it of is. times uh, I've come from the StarCraft community, StarCraft Brood War and StarCraft 2. And there are some people that can trash talk in that community. I've also, um, you know, delved into the fighting game community, and there's a community that can trash talk really well. World of Tanks team, it's probably the most mannered people I've it ever is, met before. In my but life. they're intelligent with what they say to each other because it's like it's it's a burn, but it's an yeah. intelligent burn. I would just be like Mac G, my facial hair is a lot better than yours. Eat it. Well, uh, you know, what I really w would have liked to have seen is uh, Nagatron from Fulcrum or Junior from Simple Tanker to see who had to shave whose face. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. That would have been really cool. So, again, these guys are 4-0 and oh on both sides. They have not lost a match so far. Only one of them will be able to continue in an undefeated record, or we could actually see a draw between the two of them. The difference between a match victory and a draw is a match victory, you get three points, and a draw, both teams only get one point. That's higher right. the points, it's more important to get those higher points. Tanks, 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 great torp. What are they selected? Amex 5100s, two of them, two IS-3s, and one T-69. So this is a little bit of a change up, but uh, because we have on the other side an Amex 5100, two IS-3s, and two T-69s. Normally we see uh, the Amex 5100, two Amex 5100s because it gives better burst than the T-69. But of course, I feel like the T-69, Ferdinand says it all the time, there's a lot more application. It's a better support tank, and I, I completely agree. If you're gonna be more mobile, Definitely take that T69 and get some great shots and great flanker. So flanker, it's a finisher, and it does reload fast in the AMX 5100. It does have two shots less, but those four shots can really come in handy. Jen Scott leading the charge for Nerve. Wow, bold move as Blue Boy's captain is spotted out over here. For those of you that don't know, blue side is uh, Nerve, red side. Simp is Simp, Simp. and is the team that Rukil is cheering for. I hope they take it. Oh, Mac going down, Mac attack style again. <laughs> Dying Living first. up to his reputation. I know. <laughs> well, he, he made it 80 seconds in. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but all the heavies have been <laughs> scouted on the side of Nerve. Simp repositioning themselves. I3 Adrox is going to move into the side of the building here. General Scott oh, getting lit dang. up from Terraman Adrox in heavy 20. And now a three pronged flank moving in from Nerve as Jen Scott is going to try to be guarded for the re from the rest of the Simp players, but he's gonna go down to Droxus, holding the line, he's gonna get hit, but Endo, Ooh, a lot of, lining up his shots. A lot of misses and ricochets up, up on a Droxus. that's gonna help out a lot, heavy 20, and of course, Endo over here doing good job at making sure all these blue tanks are busy with their what, what they're focusing on. And Endo's seen 20. the counter flank from Explosive Brutality. Heavy 20 is completely surrounded, but Blue Boy's captain moving in for the kill against Psycho Killer. Focusing down the oh. lower shot. Double shots from Heavy 20. And Psycho and uh, Blue, Blue Boy's Bo captain taking down Psycho Killer. That's fantastic. And now we have a, a face-hugging game between Marsh and Heavy 20 while Explosive Brutality attempts to help out, help out. But Endo here is in to block, and he's going to stop Explosive Brutality. Fantastic job from Endo right here. Simp is oh, up 33-8, yeah. to eight, and now they are going to destroy Explosive Brutality. Endo covering Heavy 20. Heavy 20 backs on the IS-3, lining up the shot. No, Endo simps him. Oh, shoots right past Endo for the hit against Explosive Brutality. He's on the run. Endo at almost full HP, 1351 at a 1400 goes down and Simp swiftly cuts down Nerve in battle number one. <laughs> to the south side, we got Nerve in the blue, and to the north side, we got Simp in the red. What is the tank selection, Greetor? We have what? 
Five AMX 1390s. That's it. Nerv is bringing five AMX 1390s against three AMX 1390s and two TC 69s. On paper, I would say Simp just has an advantage based on tanks. Rukil, clutch. The, One of you. I, I, I'd say so, but there's a consideration to have. Nerve does have quite a bit of mobility, and if they can just... The throws to early StarCraft, a Zerg rush, their enemies right here, just taking these tiny little tanks and just piling on to whoever they can find. Yeah, this is going to be the mobility factor. Yeah. Okay. You can just keep yeah. moving, and of course your accuracy is not going to be very good, even on the move in the 1390s. But if you can keep going and actually move as one in like a pack of fish, against a shark. The shark can't focus on just one fish because there's too many of them. 1390s surrounding. If it's a megalodon, it doesn't care. Just hope it's a, it's a megalodon. Well, there's no megalodon on this map. How do we always end up talking about the megalodon every know, single time? I don't know, just like how Mac G is the first one to die on yeah. Simp. It's just a thing in the universe. But looking at the spread out position of Nerve, they are a uh, third of the way past the map. Farthest they're going is that G line and Simp. Their T69s moving to the east side as they've taken a uh, diagonal lines position between D and 7 yep. going across and moving back and forth in their 1390s. Well, I'm pulling up my statistics right now. I can see I can see that this is the longest Mac G has ever lived in the game. <laughs> so well done, Mac. It does mean Simp will lose this game. <laughs> that is very unfortunate to hear. <laughs> I, I want to see how this prediction pans out because it looks like there's a... We were talking about earlier that um, that defensive position when you spawn in the south, yep. everyone going to the same spot every time. Guess what? Nerve in that spot. I'd love to see blind fire, definitely. Real quickly, I want to I want to bring up the stats of uh, 1390 versus a T69. T69 top speed, 51.5 kilometers an hour. It will very rarely go that fast. 64 kilometers an hour for a 1390. Traverse mm. speed, I believe, is better for the, the 1390. It's very agile. And uh, HP, 1350 for the T69, 1110 for the AMX 1390. So you have an HP value advantage for the T69. But it's that speed. It's that speed that is going to change it. And now we have a pack of 1390s, beautiful in their native environment, rolling across the cloudy, cloudy dust fields of steps. They're docile creatures. They're docile unless provoked. But provoked they are very aggressive and protective of their young. <laughs> provoked on Prokhorov gods. We'll probably see that map a little bit later if uh, if we make it to that map. Ah, great spot to stop. Indy knows this map very well. Uh, if you are a T1 up on the hill, and we're looking at my map here, this is a good spot for T1. He'd only have just saw Indy, and that's 50 meters mm -hmm. right there. So that's a lost T1. Very smart move, very uh, very well-timed driving, and very well-controlled. This is a very organized nerve, and they are going to just slowly move up here. Red Paradise, I know he is a fantastic scout player. He's going to scout out for nerve, and he's doing a good job here verifying that no one is waiting in the far back for Simp. They won't find anyone, I don't think. They have spotted Crimson Corsair in Lieutenant Carter's position in that bush. No shots fired to reveal that position, though. Mac G hanging tight in the bush at this time. And he does not want to die. <laughs> uh, that's that's just funny with Mac G. Cool. All right, shots fired from Endo going across. You're the weakest link. Causeway. Goodbye, oh, Crimson. Oh, yeah. Crimson Cor Corsair is the first death. Crimson should have seen that coming. I have been in matches with you, Crimson, when we have used that spot to kill other light tanks. It is it is a fantastic position that Lieutenant Carter took up. Good map awareness right now and great yeah. knowledge. That is that well, is a fantastic spot. Things are spelling doom for Simp already. Down a tier point. It wasn't Mac G to begin with. It's Crimson instead. Does Mac G know how to play past the, the eight minute mark? I'm really not sure. He's not used <laughs> to living this long, as Mac G usually would at least kill himself, I'd say, if he were playing right now. Now right. Nerve crossing that road, and they are going to get spotted by one of the Simp tanks just next to the flag capture, but they're getting in a good position to get some flag cap against themselves or to stay behind the rocks to feign a flag capture and oh, get Mac those G hits spotted. across. Okay. Gonna okay. This is going to help. Oh, Mac help G, so no! Okay. He goes down. No, Mac G, yes. Mac G, yes. They want him to die. And once Mac G dies, now damage is going out. Marsh has taken a huge hit here, <laughs> and so is Explosive <laughs> Brutality. Explosive Brutality does get hit. Marsh, as you said, Rukil, takes a bad shot to the back. 864 of 1100 heavy. 20 the 1390. And Blue Boy's capped. They're going to be caught a little bit out of position, but it's what they want. As Adroxus Endo and Terram will move in from the top of the hill.
to get those counter shots. Heavy 20 still staying up there to try to get a couple more hits against the pursuing bandits that are nerve right across this way. But Blue Boy's captain, Explosive Brutality, are going to go one and one right now. Ooh. Heavy 20 trying to light up the shot. Was that a shot? Blue nice. is Heavy on 20 fire. Yeah. Wow. Nerve. Lock Explosive it. Brutality is going to go down. There was just one more shot. T69 will crash into Red Paradise. And yep. oh here, he is a heavier tank, and he will do a little damage, and I'm expecting these C69s to try and get as close as they can, because these 1390s will be reloading in a moment. Yep, here they are. Endo and Tarum will be reloaded first, and Endo, there's his shots. They're up. Adroxus Huge did hits. miss one of those hits on the 1390. Psycho Kill trying to get away. Red Paradise, one more hit. He does go down. Endo, MVP so far for this match. Fantastic track shots coming out of him. He tracked Red Paradise not once, but twice. Exactly right after Red Paradise used his kit, and he even corrected for the tiny bit of uh, distance that he did get after using that kit. Simp in cleanup mode. Adrox has taken that uh, position right over the ledge, waiting for them to peek up. He is at full health right now. Tarum and Endo cruising in. Are they going to focus independent? They get independent for a psycho killer trying to get the shots on Endo. Simp is up 24 to 10. Simp only has to clean up one more tier 8. T2 Cunninghams are left. Whoa! Shots fired on the psycho killer does not land. That one does from Adroxus. One more hit. Two more hits. Now one more hit. 102. And he goes down. Adroxus cleans up the last tier 8. But can they get back to their base in time? I think so. Yeah, oh, yeah, Endo seconds. has shots. Boom! <laughs> Doesn't even have to get back. They just line up the hits. Endo gets the kills. Beautiful play by Simp as they are up 2-0 against Nerve after that battle on step. Stay tuned. This could be the match point victory that Simp needs to go 5-0 in the league. To the south side, we have Nerve in the blue. To the north is Red in the Simp. Greetorp, if you would so kindly tell me which tanks they have chosen. Two AMX 5100s, two AMX 1390s, and T69 over on the side of Nerve. Obviously, a full auto loader lineup. Whereas we have an IS-3. I love it. IS-3 being played by Heavy 20, who is so good on that IS-3. Three T69s three and an AMX 1390 on the side of Simp. There's Simp pushing to the west. No one went east. My prediction was incorrect. But that's okay, because it's still anybody's game here as we see Sim moving down the west side. But they did keep one of their light tanks on the east side to see if any push is coming up that road, and one in the middle of Abbey. And will they be scouted? No scouts yet. Inching closer and closer. Oh that T1's going to see them, though. They're gunning it. Are they gunning it? Yeah, they're gunning it. Sim maybe get some cross shots on that western flank from the road. And they can actually go down the lower road as well to get there a little bit faster. Yeah. Now there's the spot. Uh-oh. Mac. Mac G is spotted. <laughs> okay, so Simp will take it 3-0, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. No. Start the timer. Mac's not dead yet. No, Mac is on the run in between the houses, though. Urban Warfare. Oh! oh. And he gets taken down. Huge mistake there by Marsh. He should not <laughs> have killed Mac. That is all. You've only angered Simp and allowed Mac to control his team. You oh, should have let him live. They're, they're going to screen. The fury of a thousand th suns has been unleashed. The fury of a thousand suns. This thumbs, is really so cool. So they're going to screen all the way up here as the two tier ones are safe and sound. They're going to try to just come around the corner. I like the positioning. Look at this Amex 1390. Red Paradise is going to screen out the other T1. Look for it and obviously try to take it out. If he gets spotted, he knows, okay, T1's over here. Let me kill Surprise T69. Jen Scott, you overcommitted and now you are going to die. Endo. Getting that kill. Marsh 166 on the retreat. Trying to land anything he can as Blue Boys Captain. Terraman Endo land the hits against him. Psycho Killer up against Heavy 20. Heavy 20 is like, get out of my face as he pushes in. Explosive Brutality 684 HP at a 1350. Trying to back up Psycho Killer, but that's going to be way too much oh. armor and firepower for them to deal with. March 166 still on the retreat. Okay, and Endo is approaching up here with his T69. He needs to be tracked pretty soon here. Red Paradise is coming. Ten seconds left. Can they get it? Four. I don't think they can. Four. No. They got it. Get they got it. it. No. no. Shots hit. Oh, he stops man. them in their tracks. Oh, Red Paradise. And he's not able to block the other T1. Red, Red Paradise will go down now. Explosive Brutality gets cleaned up. A 3-0 victory for Simp over Nerve. 
beautifully done. What an exciting finish. I cannot believe that. I thought it was over. Three seconds left. No way you're going to be able to shoot out your opponent. KO. KO against Nerve. Simp cleans them up. 3-0. to zero. Unreal. Abby just shut them down. <laughs>